All right, guys, welcome back to Dynasty Warriors 7, part 3 uh, of Shoe. Let's do this. Yes, sir. Thanks to the bravery of Liu Bei and Guan Yu, Dong Zhuo was driven from the capital. In his new capital of Chang'an, he soon found himself betrayed, betrayed and murdered by his retainer, Lu Bu. The gates of tyranny has been expelled from the capital of Confines. Is that, that powerful? Then, then you will not have no chance but to eliminate him. That is the it's message nice that you send to stop out in this battle. Lord Lu Bei, it's, it's me. You remember me, right? My village was overrun by yellow turbans, remember? If anything, this is even worse. I'm worried about my friend at home. Maybe I'll run a litter. Lord Chow is an example to us all. That is true. Lord Zhao Yun has, has great, great respect for Lord Liu Bei. Yes, I'm sure he understands our Lord's right. anger. My house! Now, now what am I supposed, supposed to, do? to do? Damn, look at them. They look so sad. Ooh, Salsa, you're gonna pay for this. Look at this place! The bodies are piling up on each other. It's as Lord Tao Chiang said. Sound Sal's army is nearly invisible and shows no mercy. He kills every last one of his enemies. That is the only way he knows how to fight a battle. This guy makes me sick. He's nothing like brother. Lord Guan Yu is so calm. Maybe he's just suppressing his rage. Is truly heartless to have to a wreck such a destruction in such a short time. time. He's got her down. Got her down. What about you? They say Lord Liu Bei is a thousand salesman. That doesn't sound right. right. Wait, what? They, they say Lord Liu Bei used, used to be a thousand salesman. That doesn't sound right. That does not sound right either. Yep. This well's useless, useless now. now. Well, you used to have water, dude? This well's well, useless, useless now. now. Okay. You want water? Sorry, it's, it's all dried up. Oh, okay. <gasps> Please, just, just leave, leave me alone. His family was killed in front of his eyes. Just, just leave him in his grief. Sounds a monster. monster. My family, they're, they're... <sighs> Let's add some seals. Max health up. Uh, attack health up. I mean, um, attack plus. There you go. Um, let's see, anything else? Mm, nope. Doesn't seem like it. But you. 35? Man, I'm going for 39. Yeah, that's what's up. Alright. Everything's good. Alright, good. Uh, did I talk to you already? Lord Zhao. Oh, yeah. Lord Liu Bei is a man of emotion. To say he would help these people, despite, despite having no relationship to him. Why do you, you think we follow him? I wish I was as content, content as you are. You have been, been blessed to serve, to serve such, such a benevolent lord. lord. In that case, why, why don't, don't you join us? us? I'm, I'm sure, sure brother, brother would love to have you. you. Perhaps someday. For, For now, now, let us go, John Fay. I have to take out the No problem. What do you have to do? Rescue Xiao Xian. Rescue Xiao Xian. 
Earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of the troops. Bitch. Our defense is a water type. Take the fastest decision. Here in this village? Oh, come on, really? Hmm, doesn't seem like this.
bring this last one. I'm still waiting for the real challenge with Lord Dumb Play. Successfully defending Shu. Afterward, Tao Qian bequeathed the lands of Shu to Liu Bei before he passed away. Finally, Liu Bei had a land to call his own. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had taken yet another step toward conquering the land. For he had taken the emperor into his custody after rescuing him from the remnants of Dong Zhuo's army. Sympathizing with the plight of the Han court, Liu Bei came to a compromise with Cao Cao. And receiving imperial edicts through Cao Cao, he did battle across the land in the name of the Emperor. It was then that a dark shadow appeared to block Liu Bei from carrying out his orders. Lu Bu, who had been under Liu Bei's protection, used his absence to raise an army of his own. And within the blink of an eye, he had captured Shu. 
Once again, Liu Bei was forced to wander the land until Cao Cao offered his assistance. He agreed to take in Liu Bei and his sworn brothers and mobilized his troops to reclaim Zhu. Liu Bei was extremely grateful for Cao Cao's generosity, and together they set out for Xiapi. There was no way that he could know what cruel, cold, and calculating schemes truly lay within Cao Cao's heart. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and this will be it for part three of Dynasty Warriors 7, and, you know, this will be in, in the next video for Dynasty Warriors 7, part four. So this is part three, and thank you for watching. I love you guys, and, you know, see you guys again next time.